we're going to do another exercise, and I call this bone twisting fun. And that's just what it is, because when you do this, be gentle with the player that you're working with, because you could hurt them. It's the easier, it's really easy to do. You don't even realize it. And this is a simple way for you to learn how to grab somebody and to control them. And again, it's just a simple exercise. So, and one of the things that it serves as, which I'm going to go from this position where the hand is on the chest, and this hand being on the chest allows and implicates many times someone grabbing you. So we're just going to take it from here. And it's just a very simple exercise. Like the last exercise we did, we're going to use one arm, but we're going to use both hands doing two things each time. And it's really simple. So what we're going to do is anytime you grab the pinky edge of the hand, the pinky edge goes in. Goes in toward the middle of the player's body. Anytime you grab the thumb side, it goes out or away from the body. Now, there's no writing wrong, and there's no left and right. You haven't heard me say it. It's very rare that I will even say it anywhere in here because there's no right and there's no wrong. If I take either hand, all I have to know is that if I'm getting the thumb side, I have to turn it out. If I turn it out and I'm not having any effect, I use my other hand to make effect. And it's that simple. All right, so the exercise goes like this. Does it make any difference which hand you start with? Does it make any difference the order that you do it? As long as you get all four of these in. And it's just a practice. All you're doing is just a very light practice. Just smile, have a little bit of fun, get into it. You'll see, and you'll notice that every time I twist, either in or out, how you're being effective, because you'll notice the shoulders of the other player are crooked or they're bent. And that's exactly what you're looking for. You're bending them. That's how you know you're doing it right. I don't have to apply any pressure or hurt anybody in order to do it. So the exercise goes like this. Thumb out. Hand goes back. Pinky. Pinky goes in. Hand goes back. Thumb out. You're always going to end up one time when we both have left hand forward and always on the thumb side where you can't turn it enough to do anything. Her shoulders didn't move. You'll always need the other hand on only that one. But once you get it, just keep it going. And then pinky, I grab the pinky and I go in. So I did it with one hand. Now I have to do it with the other hand. I go thumb out. Pinky in. So we did four. Then we're just going to switch. We come back. I go thumbs out. Shoulders bent. Good. Same hand. Pinkies in. Shoulders bent. Good. Thumb out. No shoulders bent. Bad. Two hands. Good. Good. You see, that as soon as you start to do this, you're going to see it works every single time. Grab the pinky. We go back in again. Shoulders. Good. Now, it gets, it's more fun than that. We want you to have so much fun that you can't even stand that you're doing this all the time because it really is that much fun. There's two other things that you need to remember. So it's pinkies in, thumbs out all the time. Now, if you want to control the person, if you want to hold them in position, if you will, we're going to keep them long. Their arms are long. We're going to keep... We're going to do this pinky in, but we're going to keep this arm really long, and we can just rest our other arm right there like it's not doing anything, and we're okay. 
That's nice and long. We turn the thumb out. We leave the arm out nice and long. And if I just keep pulling this, Janet, right, she just wants to keep following along. We're nice and long. Same thing when we do to the opposite side. I keep it, turn it, nice and long. I keep and turn it, we're nice and long. Okay, we have one more. We turn, we're long. You see her arm stays long, but her shoulders still go. Then they're short. Short is to make people to go to the ground. It makes pain, so go easy. When you go short, short is, her shoulders are going, but I'm bringing my hand toward her. If I put my hand on her, she's not going to do anything. But if I just bring it to the side and I say, down, she goes down. And you're going to see, you're going to do this with someone. And you're going to be doing it, and you're going to be sitting there playing this little exercise, and you're going to see, there are going to be big guys, or big women, or big children, whichever, and they're going to go right down. So shorts actually create a little bit more discomfort or pain. So shorts, and you can always use two hands if you want. You don't always have to use one hand. Short, and if they don't want to cooperate, like Janet's like, well, that's not, doesn't feel comfortable. If you just push it and make it short, and I just twist, right? Does that, you feel anything, Janet? Janet's being so nice. She's trying to cooperate so good, right? Short, short. We make everything short. You see, she wants to go down, and she's feeling that discomfort in her wrist. She wants to go down. I, we turn, this is the twist, short. They want to go down to the ground. Done very quickly. Do not do this to somebody quickly because you're going to hurt them unless you have to. Right? You want to keep it nice and gentle and soft. You see, just the way we did it. So, again, quick review just long and short. Practice keeping the arms long, all four. Practice keeping the arms short or closer to the player. And then it's just thumbs out and grab the pinkies in. doesn't make any difference what position you're in. If I'm on the pinky edge, just grab the pinky side. If I'm on the thumb edge, grab the thumb edge. doesn't make any difference which hand I'm using. doesn't make any difference what the order is. So practice just doing this thumbs out, pinkies in. You can do it to yourself. People think you're a little crazy, but thumbs out. You'll see when you do it to yourself, you feel this stretch in your shoulders and in your wrists and then your pinky's in. And if you do it even to yourself long and short, you feel this stretch, which is a good exercise, and you feel the difference in how you can do it. And you go, wow, you can feel that. When you start to do this, and you start to shorten your hand up to yourself, you can feel the discomfort that comes along with it. Give it a try. Practice.